I made it home. The RV. It's actually pretty nice. We got our power hooked up so the fridge runs. And we got them to pull the got our hookups here. Is a seven seven pin too, so that's perfect. Two inch hitch pin star. Oh, nice. Um pretty sweet. There's a massive storage here. Huge. All right, we're gonna do a quick walkthrough of the uh, Cruise America RV rental and just go over a couple things that we didn't know about um, before we did it and then would've been nice to know. That makes it a little easier, so. We got the, not the largest RV, but the one down from that, the 25 footer. Um, and we got like a four day trip, five people, so the max amount of people. Um, this is post trip, so we're just gonna go over some things that we learned, but you got this control panel here. Uh, if you hit test levels, it'll tell you what all your levels are, um, your generator hour, your start your generator, and then your water heater. Um, I believe this RV has a 40 gallon fresh water, 25 gallon gray, and 25 gallon black, or somewhere in there, and then like a 12 gallon propane. Uh, we used all of our black water tank over those five days. We never used any bathroom but the RV bathroom. Um, we used all of our fresh water, but we had no hookups anywhere. Our gray water, we were able to drain where we were at. Um, and then our battery, that's your 12 volt. It has a 12 volt power and then the generator power. The generator charges a 12 volt. You need generator for microwave, air conditioning, or any of the plugins. 12 volt will run your furnace, your fridge. It runs off propane, but it needs 12 volt too. Your lights and all that kind of stuff. Your water pump. Whenever you want to use water, you just flip the switch and turn on the water pump. It'll build pressure. Um, to start the generator, you hold the prime button down uh, for three or four seconds. You'll see this light turn on, and then you uh, hit the start. You'll feel it turn on. The fridge auto switches from propane to electric. You can plug in to a plug-in if you have a campsite. If not, you're just doing generator. It'll run off propane, so you don't have to worry about that. And then you've got your thermostat here, uh, which controls your heat. We've literally got a flash flood thunderstorm going on outside at the moment. But there was lightning. I, I heard that. Uh, they say on this placard here that you only get two hours of heat without being plugged into 110. Um, because you need the 12 volt power to run the fan, which runs the furnace runs off propane. Ours ran all night, both nights. I don't know if we just didn't need that much heat, so it didn't have to come on that much or what, but. It ran all night, it was still running in the morning, we were nice and toasty. Um, on the note of propane, I was extremely concerned we were gonna run out of propane, because you, know, you got your cooker, your fridge, your heat, all propane. Um, we barely used half over our four days, and I mean, we had this thing heated all, the whole time. Uh, we cooked every meal on this, this little stove here. So propane is not really an issue. Even now, it says we have two thirds, I mean, we used propane for everything. The fridge was running the whole time. Um, we first got there, it was a little warm. We did run the air conditioning. We just started the generator. It was pretty amazing. It worked really good. Um, we put four hours on the generator and honestly, I thought the generator was running longer than that. Like we ran it quite a little bit. Um, it charges, it'll charge up your 12 volt battery. So that's kind of why we ran it and then everyone would plug in their phones. Um, we were towing a trailer a U-Haul 6x12 cargo trailer. And we got about, we were going over mountain passes, we got about eight miles to the gallon. I'm assuming that if you weren't towing the trailer, you'd be looking more at 10, maybe 11, 12, somewhere in there. Um, but nothing too terrible. Um, all in all, it was a pretty good, pretty good trip. Uh, definitely gonna do it again. Uh, there's pretty good storage underneath the RV. Everyone was pretty comfortable. Obviously when you're going down the road at 60 miles an hour, 
and I'm sure this is common to like every RV, everything in here rattles, like everything. <laughs> and that <laughs> kind of bug you a little bit, but if you keep it under like more like 50 miles an hour, it's pretty good, but up at 60, everything shakes. We This door, our door really shakes. Um, and it might just be because it's this RV. I don't know if it's all of them, but um, here, you got the bathroom, the shower, uh, shower. We each, there are five of us. We each took maybe a five to six minute shower and we were, that's what burned up. That's the only thing we were using our fresh water for was showers, washing hands and toilet flushes. And we, we used it all, but you do get about five or six good showers out of the uh the fresh water tank and the hot water tank was good i didn't we didn't it is a six gallon hot water tank but you're not using the whole six gallons because you're using a little bit of cold with it too it'll it'll burn you like it's pretty hot so um that was plenty and you've got all these there's lights everywhere in here i mean any, everywhere you look there is lights you can turn on even in the pure darkness it was completely lit up in here so i mean it's ridiculous how many lights there's some under there you've got Footlights to turn on. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good trip. We're gonna go return it now. And hopefully we'll uh, we'll do it again. If you have any questions specific, go ahead and comment them. We can give you answers. I know we had a lot of questions before we rented ours. Uh, their website does a pretty good job, but there's just a lot of stuff like how long is this gonna last? How long does the you know different tanks last? And, um, now that we know the answer to those questions, I think it'll be a lot easier to know what which RV we want and that kind of thing. But thanks for watching.